Hello, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Everything okay? Are you having a good day today? I let me see who do we have good afternoon I am sorry can you remind me of your name I don't remember who you are sorry <laughs> yes the lesson starts at four exactly four on the dot we say in English four on the dot is exactly at four Maybe my watch is behind your watch. <laughs> so my name is Shanti. I don't know if you can see it at the bottom of the screen. Hmm? So are you ready for our lesson today? We have a lesson on describing a city. Yeah? Um, and in this lesson, we are going to talk about there is and there are, yeah, the singular and the plural. We're also going to ask questions. For example, is there, I don't know, a bakery in your city? Are there schools in your city? So we have the positive, the interrogative, the question, and also the negative. Mm -hmm. So today we have a lot of options where with there is and there are. Hi, Valerio. Okay, thank you. I couldn't remember your name. So welcome, everyone, and let's get started. So let's do a bit of revision of, uh, hi Valentina, of parts of the city, things that we can find in the city. In picture A, what is picture A? Do you understand what it is? What is picture A? Hmm. We have different options. It can be a park, a train station, a university, a hospital, a museum, a castle, and a zoo. So I don't know if picture A is a zoo. <laughs> be careful with pronunciation. Zoo. Yes, Valerio, it's a train station. Exactly. Perfect. And picture B, what is picture B? Do you understand? I don't know if the picture is very easy to understand. We have some students with a blue robe and a special hat. This hat is very special. It's a hat for graduation. When you finish school, you have a graduation ceremony and you wear this hat and this robe different schools have different clothes different colors usually black could be blue so what is picture b Any ideas? Picture B? Can you guys hear me? Is the connection bad? Or are you sleeping? <laughs> so we said picture A 
is a train station. Picture B is a university. So I know in high school in America, there is also a graduation ceremony. But in this case, the only option is university. Aha, you're back. Yes, university. Picture C. I know the picture is very small. I don't know if you can see it on your screen. But it's... What is it? Picture C. Picture C. Yes, there are paintings on the walls. It is probably a museum. Well done. Picture D, we have, I think, lemurs. These animals that are in the film Madagascar. I don't know if you've seen this animation film called Madagascar. We have these two animals on a tree. Where are we? In which place? Yes, Cosmin, at the zoo. Good job, guys. At the zoo. And then we have people wearing scrubs. Scrubs are the... The outfit the the clothes that people wear in uh, in which place they can be blue or green they are very hygienic and we use them um oh, you've already said yes at uh, the hospital sorry i didn't see your answers <laughs> so yeah the scrubs are worn by nurses and doctors when they have to operate or work in the hospital. They wear scrubs. Um, so that's E. F, you already said, is the castle. I've seen people have answered. And G, by elimination, is the park. So for example, the in London, we have Many, there are many, many parks. Hi, Paola. Welcome. I didn't see you before. So we have, uh, okay, there are many more things in a city, many more uh, places. For example, what else can I see in the city? I can see a university, a train station, a museum, other important buildings. A building, you understand, an edificio, other buildings that are important in the city. It's not here, but there is the town hall. Town hall, a town hall is where, um, the mayor, the most important person of the city, a woman or a man, the boss of the city, works. If I have questions, if I have problems, I can go to the town hall uh, to ask for my identification, to pay maybe local taxes at the town hall, al comune, yeah, the town hall. So here we don't have an example. And there are no shops in this example. Where are the shops? Let's continue. So what's in your city? Let's start with the city of Prato, yes? Um, can you tell me what there is or what there are in your city? For example, if there is only one version for example, school, there is only one school, no? Uh, in Prato, there's only one school? No, there are many schools. So you can say in Prato, there are... Hi, Gaia! 
uh, you can say in Prato there are schools. Are there universities in Prato? Are there hospitals? Or is there a hospital? Is there a park? Are there parks in Prato? Is there a zoo? What can you tell me about the city of Prato? What is in the city of Prato? What's in Prato? So, Cosman, yes, what is there in Prato? Can you make an example? So, for example, is there one train station in Prato or more? If there are more train stations, we have to say, ah, the third age, there's the university of the third age. You mean, um, uh, hmm, I don't know how you say this in, uh, in English. Um, hmm, the university for the elderly? Aha, uh -huh. there are several swimming pools in Prato, true. There's one in Via Roma. There's one in... So, Paola, there are or there is? Are there two hospitals, three hospitals, or one? It's very important. If there's only one, there is. If there are two, three, four, there are. I guess elderly university. Hmm, I'm not sure, Andrea. We have to check. <laughs> uh, but maybe it's like continuous learning, or there must be a special word for this. So, what else is in Prato? There is. There's one hospital in Prato, yes. I mean, there's the old hospital and the new hospital. Hi, Elena. So, what else? Is there a zoo? In Prato? Okay. So, Cosmin, there are town hall, there is one, no? Or there are two town halls? There are, there are official town buildings, different maybe apartments, but there is usually one town hall. Every city has one town hall. So there is a town hall and there is only one museum in Prato, Cosmin, or there are museums in Prato. Aha, uh -huh. there are many parks. So Maria says, in my city, we have a university, a hospital, a park and a train station. Maria, I need the articles, the articles. A an university, a university, sorry, a hospital. Hmm? Yes, there are. There are many museums in Prato, many. There's the Museo del Tessuto, there's the Pecci Museum, so there are museums in Prato. Is there a castle in Prato? And I don't know, many parks? How many parks in Prato? Many. I have no idea how many. Then another word that is not there that we don't have is cycle lanes. Cycle lanes are, for example, cycle lanes are, um, where you can go on your bicycle. So in Prato, are there cycle lanes, special roads just for the bicycles or for people walking? Andrea says in Prato, there is a castle and a horse race track. Really? There is? The horse race track is the epidromo. Oh, I don't know how you say in Italian, uh, where you can have um, horses running very fast and you can have a race 
yeah, a race. I didn't know. There is a centro scienze naturali in Galceti. It's not a zoo. Okay, so it's not exactly a zoo. Oh, yes. There are many, many roundabouts. Do you understand roundabouts? Roundabouts are round, and the cars can go around and go in different directions. This is a roundabout. Prat loves roundabouts. <laughs> ah, yes, there's a castle in Prato, yes, in Piazza San Francesco, correct, Valerio, true. What else is there in Prato? Mm. Is there... Hmm. Is there a cinema in Prato? Ah, autostrada is highway. Or you can also say motorway. Motorway is more British. And highway is more American. Hmm? Highway or motorway. So there are two highway exits. You have the Prato Ovest exit and you have the Prato Est exit. So there are two highway exits in Prato. Mm -hmm. um, there are what? There are many shops. There are Ooh, Maria says, in my city, there is a park, a cathedral, and a stadium. True, there's a stadium in Prato. I forgot. You live in Prato, Maria, or you live in Campi or in Calenza. No, I don't remember. Uh-huh, in Prato, we have two highways. There are two highways, the A1 and the A11. Yes, in Prato, there are many clo cloth or clothes factories. Cloth is tessuto. Clothes, E-S, is um, uh, clothes, uh, vestiti. There are many restaurants in Prato. There are many schools. There are... I can't think of anything else right now. Let's continue. So now if we want to ask questions, I would like you to ask me of, about the city. Ah, yeah, you live in Prato, Maria. Okay, I didn't remember, <laughs> sorry. So ask me about Quarata. Quarata is a very exciting city with many, many things to do. It's not true. <laughs> can you ask me some questions? You can say, is there or are there? And then the question. Okay, ask me about Quarata and I will say, there, yes, there is or no, there aren't. Yeah, what can you ask me about the city of Quarata? Maybe you know Quarata already, but you have to imagine that you don't know Quarata. Quarata is a mystery for you, and you can ask me a question. <laughs> this is very sweet, Andrea. In Prato, there are different English schools, but the only beloved one is English in the city. Thank you, Andrea. We love you too. <laughs> So, you're not curious about the exciting city of Quarata. Quarata is the center of Italy. Everything happens in Quarata. No?
Everyone says, Shanti, why did you go to live in Quarata? Why not in Pistoia or Prato or Florence? Why Quarata? <laughs> it's a charming city. Charming, you understand? Carina. <laughs> So, no questions. I give you an example. Uh, are there? Yes, Quarata is in Pistoia, in the in the town hall of. It's part of Pistoia area. It's twenty minutes when there is no traffic. Twenty minutes from Prato, with traffic, thirty minutes. 40 minutes if there's a lot of traffic to the school. So you can ask me a question, for example, is there... <laughs> oh, there are many things to visit in Quarata. <laughs> but you have to ask me more specific questions with is there or are there? And then at the end, I will recommend something. Ah, this I didn't know. Elena says that in Prato, there is a very important archive, Archivio Datini. It's really important for Middle Ages his historical studies. I didn't know this, Elena. This is a revelation for me. So there's a big archive. I don't think in Quarata there is a big archive. I don't think so. So you have to ask me, for example, is there a high school in Quarata? And this is an example of a question you can ask me. Is there a high school in Quarata? And I can say, uh, so you say, Shanti, is there a high school? In yes, there is. There is one high school in Quarata. It's uh, Liceo d'Arte. And you can study art. And I'm not sure exactly. But uh, if you want to specialize, you have to go to Pistoia for the last year. <laughs> Last years, the three last three years. Aha, finally, Andrea. Are there sofa factories in Quarata? So, yes, there are a few factories in Quarata, but now there are many problems in the uh, furniture sector. You understand furniture? Furniture mobili, there are many problems with the furniture sector. So now many factories are closed. They don't work. Elena asks me a question, very interesting. Is there a train station in Quarata? No, Elena, there is no train station in Quarata. This is a big problem. If I want to go to Florence by train, I have to go to Montale. Montale or Pistoia or Prato. These are my options for the train station. Another question? Maria, Valentina, Cosmin, Valerio. Who else has to ask me a question? Paola, Gaia. Come on, I want every person to ask me one question about Quarata. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, you're not interested about the city of Quarata? For example, ice cream? This is the first question. We want to know. Is there or are there? Ah, is there a swimming pool in Quarata? There is. There is a swimming pool in Quarata. It is 
a new swimming pool. They renovated, you understand, to renovate. When something is old and you make it uh, new, they renovated the swimming pool uh, in, uh, near, the, near the tennis club. In, it's called Selva Bassa. Huh. Interesting question. Valerio says, where is Quarata? <laughs> Quarata is, um, if you are driving on the Statale, the, the road from Florence to Pistoia, you will arrive at a traffic light that says Olmi. And you have two, op well, three options. You can go straight to Pistoia. You can turn right to Aliana or you can turn left to Quarata. So it's 20 minutes from Prato, 25 minutes. Valerio, you don't know Quarata? <laughs> Everybody knows Quarata. <laughs> so, no more questions? You can ask me. Uh huh. There's also a golf club. Yes, it's true. There is. I don't know if it's a very beautiful golf club, but I think if you are a student, if you are learning to golf, it's a good golf course to start to take lessons at the beginning. But I am not a golfer, so I don't know. And there are two or three ice cream shops in Quarata. Uh, this is very important. There is one pub in Quarata. There, there are two famous pastry shops. What is a pastry shop? You understand? Pastry shop. There are two famous pastry shops, cafes, yeah, where you can buy biscuits and cakes and pastries. Hmm? So these are famous. There's Bar Grazia, that's very famous, and there's Meharini, that's very famous. But you have to decide, do you prefer Bar Grazia or do you prefer Meharini? Paola, thank you. Is there a museum in Quarata? Hmm. Well, there is a museum. There's a, a villa that's very famous, a Medici villa called Villa Maja, La Maja. And there you can visit the house, the villa. There is um, Near Quarata, in the Quarata area, there is a place called La Querciola, where you can visit um, a house with lots of old um, objects from the past. Uh, artifacts, like, uh, I don't know how you say in Italian, uh, uh, like old objects. And you can see like old toys, old tools, strumenti, um, old uh, furniture, and it's to show how people lived in the past. I think uh, maybe I forgot something. I don't remember if there are more museums. Aha, Maria knows Quarata. She says, in Quarata, there are furniture stores and supermarkets. It's true. I think there are two, four, maybe four supermarkets in uh, in Quarata. So you have a lot of options. There's Coop, there's Kona, there is Eurospin, and now there's even a Carrefour, a small Carrefour. And I explains a pastry shop is sort of a bakery where you can eat cakes and have a coffee or tea. Exactly. Well done, Elena. Very important. It's fundamental in your city to have a pastry shop. Um, in Quarata, there are not many restaurants. There are few restaurants. But there are some shops. There are clothes shops. There are shoe shops. Uh, 
Yeah. So you have some options. There's a, a, a bookshop. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to do that. So now I want you to describe. Ah, uh, no, there is there is no zoo in Quarata. No, there is. Uh, but we have something very exciting. We have um, what they call in Italian fattoria didattica. So if you're interested in farm animals, cows, donkeys, donkeys, or if you're interested in um, horses, you can visit this farm and you can see the animals. So for children, there are many options in Quarata to visit farms and see the animals. So if you're interested, you can come. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to go to Pistoia to the zoo. Okay, guys. So I want you to tell me about a different city, not Prato. Maybe you can tell me about your home city. What is a home city? The home city is the city where, or the hometown, usually we say hometown, is the city where you were born or where you were when you were little. So maybe some people lived in Prato all their life. They were born in Prato, they lived in Prato, and they continue to live in Prato. <laughs> um, so, but maybe your parents are from a different city because I want you to describe a city that is not Prato, but a city that you are familiar with, yeah, that you know. So I can say, in your city, is there a museum? And you can say, yes, no. So Andrea asks me, if is there a greenhouse in Quarata? So a greenhouse is a place to put plants in winter. When it's very cold, your plants need to be protected. And in your garden, you can have a greenhouse, a house for plants. But in Quarata, there's a big shop, a plant shop that is called greenhouse. And you can buy many, many plants. Okay, so Valerio says that his hometown is Wengso. I don't know if I pronounce correctly. I'm sorry, Valerio. Um, so in Wengso, um, is there a zoo? Andrea, I remember that you are from Prato. Your family is from Prato. Or is your family from a different city? Also, Elena, your, your family is, is from Prato. You've always lived in Prato. Maria, where, what is your hometown? So, Valerio, is there a zoo in your hometown? Is there a zoo in your hometown? Paola, what is your hometown? Town. Valentina, is your hometown Quarata? Oh, sorry, Prato, or is it a different hometown? Cosmin, what is your hometown? And Gaia? So, everyone, tell me your hometown, and I can ask you some questions about your hometown. So, for example, Valerio says that there isn't, you have to give me a whole sentence, Valerio. There isn't a zoo in my hometown. So, you can say there isn't. It's negative. There isn't a zoo in my hometown. 
Or yes, there is a zoo in my hometown. So Elena asks another question. She says, in Wengso, Wengso, is there a university? Maybe there are many universities. Valerio, do you know? Is there a university in your hometown? Ah, Cosmin, you're from Bucharest. I heard it's a beautiful town, beautiful city. Ah, so Valerio, you're from a rural area, from the countryside. <laughs> Andrea, your family is from Prato for many generations. <laughs> Okay, so Andrea, you have to invent a new city. So I have a question about Bucharest. I have never been to Bucharest. Um, is there... I imagine. Is there... Okay, is there an airport in Bucharest? Valentina says that her hometown is Prato, but her family is originally from Sicily. Valentina, where in Sicily? Which city in Sicily? <laughs> Elena's hometown is Prato. So Andrea and Elena are 100% Pratesi. <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> My hometown is a little village, so very, very small, a little village in France. I was born in a village in the mountains in France. So in Valerio's little town near Wengso, there is, there's, there isn't, oops, there isn't a university, but there is a primary school. And Cosman says that there is also the Bucharest airport. Okay, so I imagine Bucharest has one airport, only one. Huh? And Maria, did you say what your hometown is, Maria? What is your hometown, Maria? Because in my city, there is no university of psychology, only one. Okay. Ha, so Valerio says, excuse me, Shanti, are you French? And I, yes and no, Valerio. I am half French, half American. Because my father, my dad is French and my mom is American. But I was born, when I was a baby, I, I lived in France. <laughs> yes, very strange family. So um, another question about Bucharest. Is there a castle in Bucharest? <laughs> I don't know. Amazing. I don't know, but <laughs> yes, my parents met. They said, hello, nice to meet you. They met in Scotland. Very strange story. Maria, did you tell me where you're from? What your town is? And what about Paola? Where, what's your hometown, Paola? I've lost you. Where are you, Paola? And Gaia, I think, is, is also gone. So, is there... There must be. 
Okay, Valeria says, in front of my home, there is a little river. Mm, interesting. A river is also important. Many cities have a river. Aha, Cosmin said that in Bucharest, there are three important castles. It sounds like we have to go to Bucharest on holiday, that it's a beautiful city. There are many things to see. I imagine there are many, are there many museums, Cosmin? So Valerio's town has a little river. Um, I think probably Bucharest has a river, Prato has a river, Florence has a river. I think rivers are very important. In the village where I was born, there is a very small river. Aosta doesn't have a river? Really? No water? That's a problem. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Um, Okay, so now I will not ask you questions. You can make some examples about your city, your hometown. Yeah, you can say, in my hometown, in my home village, there are no shops. There is one fountain. You understand? Fountain. A fountain is where you have water that comes out. There is one fountain. There is one town hall. There is one church and one cemetery. Hmm. Ah, in my hometown, Uh, Valeria says that in his hometown, his hometown, there is a playground. You understand playground where the children can play? Uh, in my home village, there now, now there is um, a place to play football or like a, a football field, but there is no grass. There is no grass, non c'è l'erba. It's only cement. And there are many mountains and there are some cows sometimes. <laughs> there isn't. Maria, what do you mean by investigation? There isn't vegetation. You want you you mean trees, plants, no parks. Because investigation is investigazione, like a detective. What else can you say about your hometown? Valentina, you, I'm waiting for an example from you about your hometown in Sicily. And Andrea and Elena, you can talk about Prato, no problem, if you want. I want everyone to make an example. Paola, <clears throat> can you make an example also? Um, hmm. Okay, while you're thinking about your examples, I will, um, let me show you another example. Um, it's very important when you talk about your town. Ooh, Cosman says, in my city, ah, in my city, there is only one ice skating rink. And there are two hospitals. 
there is one central park. Mm -hmm. And then we have an example from Valerio. There is a, there are mountains and a pond. There's also a, a bamboo forest. Very nice. And we always go to get the little frogs and fish. It sounds very nice, your village, Valerio. Very, I like the bamboo forest. So I have to go to uh, Valerio's village and I definitely have to go to Bucharest. Elena says that in Prato you can eat the original cantuccini. Yes. But they're very hard, the cantuccini biscuits. Very hard. You need Vinsanto. Uh, Andrea says that in my city there aren't any undergrounds. Do you understand undergrounds? Undergrounds are the train under the ground, like in London or in Milan or in Rome. But it says it's not a village, it's a town. A town with a bamboo forest, really? Interesting. It looks like it has a lot of uh, nature around. Okay, let me show you a picture of some shops. Let me change the, the screen one second. I will share my screen. Uh, one second, sorry. So I don't know if you can see this picture. I hope it's clear. We have different shops and different places in a city. So in this city, what is there? Some things there is only one and some things there are more than one. For example, can you make an example? from the picture. Can you see the picture? For example, there is a cinema in this town. Hmm? A cinema, you understand? Do you understand all the shops? Do you understand all the shops that there are in the in the, the different shops, the different places? Valeria, I'm looking at your answers. Uh, you can, if you live in a rural area, it's a bit, are you sure that you live in a city? Usually in the, a rural area, you have a town or a village. Anyway, so if you look at the picture, can you make some examples where there is Thank you. In this town, Elena says, there is a post office. Yes, there is a post office indeed. Anything else in this city? If you don't understand some vocabulary. Okay. So for example, in this town, there... Is there one pub or are there more than one pubs? Singular or plural? What do you say? I think there is more than one pub in the city. If it's an English city, there are usually at least, at least almeno, at least two pubs in one city. There are two pubs in this city, yes. I don't know if you can see the little pub on the right hand corner in the, in the bottom near Brook Street. There is a second pub and there's one on Market Street too. Yes. Any other things in this city. What else is there in this city? 
is there only one hotel or is there only one bank one restaurant is there or are there can you make some more examples I think I can see one, two, three, at least, I think at least three hotels. Ah, you can see three pubs, Valerio. Maybe I missed a pub. Uh, one, two, yes, there are three pubs. And there, I think, Elena, there are three hotels. I don't know if you can see the one at the top. Maybe I can show you with my, with my, here there is one hotel. I don't know if you can see my mouse. And then there's another hotel here and another hotel there. So there are quite a few hotels and pubs. There's one here, one here and one here. So as Andrea says, there's one bank two banks, three banks. People like uh, to get money in this, in this town. <laughs> so Maria says an example about her city. In my city, there are stations, parks, one park or more than one, parks or park. Cinema, pubs, and schools. One school or two schools? Hmm. Yeah, there is one on Brook Street. Yes. <laughs> what else is there in this school, in this town? What else can you see? There is one swimming pool. If I show you the picture, we can go down a little bit more with the picture. Let me try to show you this a bit more. Don't panic. I'm scrolling down to show you more of the city. What else can we see in this city? For example, near Bristol Road, what is there? It's quite a big town. There are quite a few options. Yes, there's a hospital. Now I scrolled down, so it was at the top. Now we can't see it anymore. There is a public library, yes. And there's also a bookshop. So I can borrow, I can borrow books or I can buy books if I prefer. And if I want to see some animals, is it possible in this town if I want to see some animals from different countries? There is one small school in this town. <laughs> it looks very small. I think there's only one. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Is there, uh, where is the pastry shop? Oh no, Elena. <laughs> Poor Elena is trying to look at this photo with her phone. So I can imagine that it's very, very, very small. Yeah, if you're not on a computer, it must be very difficult to read. Uh, so Valeria says there, there are seven streets. Yeah, there's Park Road, Bristol Road, Victoria Street, Brook Street, High Street, and then there are one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, yes. Seven or eight. I don't know if there's more at the top that we forgot to see. Yeah, there are many streets that we can see in the picture. Is there, um, hmm, is there a bus station in this town? Is there a bus station in this town? That we know, huh? Because from what we can see in the picture, is there a bus station? Uh, is there a bus station and is there an Italian restaurant? If we go to this town, can we find Italian food? Mm. I am not sure if we can find any Italian food in this, in this town. Because Italian people, when they travel, they like to eat Italian food. They don't like English food. So is it possible for me to eat Italian food? Is there an Italian restaurant in this town? I think for Elena, this will be impossible to see because it's very, very small. As Valerio says, there are three or four shops, yes, and there is an Italian restaurant on the top. It's got a yellow sign with green writing. So Maria talks about her hometown and she says that in her hometown, there are five main streets, yeah, five important streets in her town. And in my town, I think there there is one important street in Cuarapa. <laughs> That's it, one. Um, okay, guys, I think for today, that's it. Let me remind you that tomorrow, let me see at what time. <laughs> tomorrow at 11, you have a focus 2-3 at 11 a.m. And on Thursday, Thursday, what day is Thursday? Jovedi, you have another focus 2-3 at 11. So on Tuesday and on Wednesday, sorry, on Tuesday and Thursday, after the end of the day, you have a focus at 11 then if you want, there is a focus one, two, so the level under you, on Wednesday and Friday at four. These are another option for you if you want an easy level. Okay, I think that's it for today. We'll finish a little bit early. <sighs> and I is explaining that we're doing a trial today. We are trying to see if we can use Facebook and YouTube at the same time. It's a bit complicated. <laughs> okay, guys, have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy the sun. Yeah. Enjoy, you understand? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Approfittate, no? Enjoy the sun. And I will see you soon for another lesson. Okay? Bye!